Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today I have a pretty vulgar mystery box unboxing for you guys. And before we get into this, definitely like this video and subscribe to this channel. But I'm gonna complain for a minute. I try really hard not to complain and not be like that person, but I'm kind of annoyed with pretty vulgar right now. So we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> um I placed this order on June 6th. It is June 25th when I'm filming this. I got this box today, which is fine. Um, I ordered it on June 6th. I didn't expect it to come super quick because COVID, <laughs> but after a week of not receiving an email or anything with tracking, I emailed them and I was like, hey, I know everything's crazy, but I didn't say that. I just said, hey, uh, my box isn't here yet. I haven't seen, received tracking. Is that normal? that's totally fine if it is because like i know everything's crazy right now i work in a place of with customer service where we constantly have to order things and they're coming late so i understand but the point that got me mad was i still have not received an email back from them saying like oh yeah that's normal or no it's not or we're sorry whatever fine they posted on instagram <laughs> i i emailed them six days after not receiving my box in six days so, and then two days later, I got on Instagram and they had posted a thing <laughs> that said, COVID hasn't got us down. We are still shipping three to five days. And I was like, are you though? So I was annoyed that I still hadn't received an email after 48 hours. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to comment on here. So I commented and I was like, hey, I still haven't received my order. I ordered it eight days ago at that point. And I emailed you. I haven't received anything back. Is that normal? I don't feel like I was being rude or anything and they immediately responded because now it's public <laughs> and we're like oh no we DM'd you so I checked my DMs and they're like oh we're so sorry which order number sent them that and they said oh we're really sorry but due to COVID things are being slower <laughs> and this is the point where I got annoyed because I'm like you're responding to me after me commenting on your post about COVID not slowing you down to tell me that COVID is slowing you down that annoyed me a little bit. So they're like, well, we're sorry and it's upsetting us too, but we still don't have any information. Fine, I just didn't respond. Still never got an email. It's the 25th of June and I'm finally getting this box, literally three weeks later. So I'm a little salty about that. So if you guys wanna order this box, like I think it's still available. Just be weary, wary, weary, weary that it is going to take a lot longer than you think, which again, I would have no problem with that if they hadn't made that post. When they made that post, which has since been deleted because I feel like several people were saying the same thing I was, the, po the post annoyed me. <laughs> but yeah, there's my little mini rant three minutes into the video. Now we're gonna open this. This was $55 and you're supposed to get five full-size products in here. I'm really, really hoping for the setting spray that looks like a perfume bottle. I don't even know if they still make it, honestly, but I'm hopeful. So we'll open this up. And these are still available as far as I know. They were earlier today. And there's bubble wrap. Okay. So. Okay, okay. I don't see the setting spray. <laughs> First thing up here is this. This is the Shimmering Swan Highlighter by Pretty Vulgar in the shade Lilac Lust. And I do like Pretty Vulgar's products, and I think I'm still going to continue to buy from them. I don't know if I'm going to continue to shop on their site. I'll probably do like Sephora or something when I'm going to buy from them. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's dark. Hmm. Super pretty packaging. It's like a purple-blue duochrome shift. I was not expecting that. Ooh, it comes off a lot prettier though. Oh yeah, okay. It comes off a lot lighter than in the pan. And a lot prettier. Ooh, I like that. It'd be pretty eyeshadows. That'd be pretty with the eyeshadow look I have today. I I like that. So far, we're good. Oh, next one I'm not excited about, but that's okay. <laughs> this is the Poisonous Pout Plumping Lip Gloss. I'm just not a lip gloss person. I don't have many. There's a few I like. I love the way lip gloss looks, but I have really long hair. I don't wear it up super often. <laughs> I don't like getting my lipstick or my hair and my lipstick this is in the shade 59 karma oh well, it's a pretty shade though i was kind of worried based on that highlighter that it was just going to be like a bunch of shades that nobody's buying and that's why but i feel like this is a shade a lot of people would buy 
I like the packaging too. And I have tried these, that's why I know I don't, I'm not the biggest fan. Ooh, smells different than I remember. Oh wait, this is a plum, I have not tried this. I've tried their liquid lip, their metallic liquid lips. I have not tried their lip gloss. I lied to you. That's a pretty shade. Okay, I'll give it a try. Like I said, not the biggest lip gloss fan, but I'm sure a lot of you are, so that's fine. I wanna go for this big box, because it looks weird. <laughs> um, Detox and Chill Lava Water Foundation Primer. Okay. Lava water, what is this supposed to do? Detox. Unique charcoal formula on your skin. Watch the color transform into a sheer veil of colorless perfection as it is absorbed. This exotic primer will not only increase the wear time of your makeup, but will provide you with smooth, supple, and hydrated skin with its gel-like texture that transforms into a cooling burst of antioxidant-rich water beads. Huh. I'm intrigued. That is weird. This just looks like a charcoal scrub. First of all, packaging is beautiful. I love the birds. I don't know. I like birds. I don't know why. I'm not like... I don't know. <laughs> I had pet birds when I was younger, I guess, but we wound up not getting any more because I had cats. Okay, so it is like a smoky charcoal black color. I'm so excited to see this turn a different color. <gasps> wow. That's so cool. Feels very hydrating too. I feel like it takes kind of a little bit to rub into the skin though, but also I did put on a lot. Wow. It smells super minty. It smells like charcoal toothpaste. Okay, I'm excited about that actually. Stay there. Ooh, I wanted this. Um, this is the Feathers Mascara like for the Heathers. It's in the shade The Raven. I'm pretty sure this is the only shade they have, but I wanted this just for the packaging, not gonna lie. <laughs> but look at that. Is that not the cutest mascara you've ever seen in your life? Like, look at that. It looks like a bird cage. It's got a little bird up top. We're gonna open it, even though I have so many mascaras open and I shouldn't. Ooh, it's got like a curling lifting wand. Smells like mascara. I'm excited about this product alone. I like this one. I think that's my favorite so far. I do really like the other thing though, the primer. And the last thing is this. This is the On Point Liquid Eyeliner Pen in the shade 26, Top Secret. I don't know if there's other colors in this. I do have their um, potted liner. Oh, so cute. I have their potted liner that I love. So I'm excited about this. Look how cute it looks like a little ink pen, like a like an actual ink pen. Oh, that tip is flimsy. Can you see that? Yeah, that's flimsy, but that line is super dark. Okay, all in all, I like everything I got, I think. The lip gloss is the only thing that I'm like meh about. But I really am excited about this eyeliner. I like the highlight, and I've never tried their highlighters before, so I'm excited to try them. It's a pretty color. I don't have anything quite like that. Like, I have some purple highlights, but I don't think I have anything that shifts blue like that. The primer is dope. Like, I'm excited to try this. <laughs> kind of want to do, like, a video only on this. Would you guys like to see that, or should I just put it in the first impressions? Probably. The mascara is my favorite. I like this. If you guys got one of these, let me know and like tell me what you got because I'm intrigued. I might see if I can find anybody else's unboxings of these, but I haven't really seen anybody unbox these yet, so maybe nobody is interested. I don't know. Um, they are still available as of this morning. They were, so I will link those down below and every product that I got in here. And I'm going to leave like the value of everything and see if it was worth it because I did pay $55 for this, which is quite a bit, but that makes every product basically $11. Not basically, it is 55 divided by 5 is 11. <laughs> okay, so before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more future unboxings or hauls that I do. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.